racist judges got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. This racist judge has got to go. Hey. I've watched my ex-husband, Attorney Ghosh, come here numerous of times, numerous of times, and get his way because it's part of the good old boy network. He knows people here. Judge Brown has gave out rulings that was so unfavorable, unreasonable, ridiculous, that no one could even just imagine. When right now, as we speak, there is a current investigation going on with bank fraud, court fraud, corruption, whatever they can find, it's still going on right now as we speak. It's because there were some interrogatories that was submitted to Judge Brown, and evidently it said false statements of aliases of my two adult children. Uh, they are not aliases, and how do I know that? I've had them. They came out of my stomach, so they're not aliases. But this judge said he didn't do that. He didn't, he didn't see any findings or anything like that, but he has not quashed this, these papers. He has not quashed these interrogatories. These orders are being misused by Attorney Ghosh. He has put the, his order to answer interrogatories in front of his motions that is slandering, false statement, making up forgery, everything and above that is against the law. And he is getting away with it because the order says Judge Brown. But Judge Brown said he had nothing to do with it. But he has not removed these orders. But I say again, he had nothing to do with it. It's still not vacated. It's still not dismissed dismissed. It's still standing there. Even for him and his name being just ran through the mud, he still has not changed that. And if I was, if somebody was utilizing my name incorrectly, I would want answers. I would want to change that. I would want to get rid of the paperwork that is slandering my good name as a judge. But judge, if you had anything to do, didn't have anything to do with it, why not get rid of it? He has not did that yet. Why? Because it's called court fraud. What flies? I don't know. I didn't do it, but we'll see how it works. Well, the victims is my daughters, Khadijah Clary, Melisha Clary. They have, their accounts have been hit with 200 and something thousand that said they owe. One of my daughters said, got um, information from a bank. It said $224,000 that they, that she owes. Where is that? She's not even a party to this case. She's a non-party. And this is, is happening in this court. And we want answers. Why is it happening if it's legal? Why is it happening if you didn't have anything to do with it? Why is Judge Brown's name on it if you didn't have nothing to do with it? Why didn't you stop this if you didn't have nothing to do with it? I've been harassed, intimidated. We have witnesses, we have so much evidence. I cannot say and state as much evidence we have, but I know it looks like and it smells like fraud bank fraud, court fraud, and it's written all over where Judge Brown in this court, Hamilton County, does nothing for black women, does nothing for the woman. And not just that, it's also because I'm not an attorney. I'm not a good old boy network, so I don't get field justice because I'm powerless. Well, you know what? I don't agree with that. We're still human beings, and I have a problem with that because they're still civilians. When you break the law, you should pay for it. And at this point, we're looking for answers. And today, I have an injunction that I'm asking for and letting the judge know he is a suspect because his orders is being misused and he still ain't did nothing about it. He's, I would want answers for that. If you're going to use my order and it says I'm going to hurt a non-party, mind you, my children are not parties to this case. You will not find Malisha or Khadijah Clary on this case in Judge Brown and Superior too. You are not. They are non-parties. They are not defendants. But they're being treated like victims. And this could happen to you. Attorney Ghosh went to a bank personally and went there and withhold money and said a judge ordered it. I mean, a judge ordered it and had the money taken out of their account. This could happen to you. 
this could happen to all of us. Anybody could just go ahead and put a name down and say a judge order it and not get in trouble for that? That is a question to me. I want answers. The victim want answers. We need answers. Wow, incredible. All right, we got